Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping into the three locations you're going to want to take advantage of and buy houses in. And there's great reasons as to why, so let's jump straight into the video. So guys, first off, we are going to talk about a little something called convenience. This is going to be a main thing that you're going to want to take advantage of. I'm actually going to bring up house one, two, three, and four locations in every single spot. So you're going to want to find out before you even think about location wise as on the map, you're going to want to find out what tier of a house you want in each location as well. So whether you want a house close to the town board or maybe even close to the refining or uh, storage or crafting you're going to want to find the exact location and you can do so on some of these different maps i'm using mapgenie.io today in this specific video because it does have the location of each house as you can see the house tier fours um, as well as the house tier ones twos and threes so you can see that all available in each location i do want to talk about more real really regarding like i said convenience other than you know just tier one or i guess inside the town you know there's convenience inside the town then there's convenience just around the entire uh, entirety of Eternum, really. So let's jump into the convenience all together. So the first house is going to be the most important. Obviously, it's going to be the one you use probably the most because it's going to be the one you've had the longest. And it's, you know, probably going to be an important house to get. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to bring up main quests. If we actually bring up main quests, you can see where all of the main quests really are located for the most part. Uh, you don't have too, too many in first light. You don't have very many in cutlass keys at all. You have a lot in Windsward, obviously a very great starting zone. We have a ton in Everfall as well. Uh, Monarch's Bluffs has a lot. We have Brightwood with just a few. Weaver Sven with just a very few. Restless Shore with a few. Morningdale actually has none of them, according to this main quest. Uh, you know, the main quest that I'm using here on mapgenie.io. Then Eden Grove has just a few as well. So this is right now, like I said, the main quest that they are pointing out. They don't have every single main quest, so keep that in mind. But for the most part, you are going to be able to see most of the main quests where they take place, you know, being really Monarchs, Everfall, and Windsward. We have a little bit of First Light as well, so you can take keep, you know, keep in mind that pretty much every starting location has a lot of those, uh, you know, main quests in them. But for the most part, I think, you know, with this in mind, Windsward is going to be an obvious first spot. And there's great reasons as to why, because you have to remember with these t really houses involved uh, in these places, you're going to want to take advantage of the recall to your house. And then from there, use that to travel farther, right? So you're going to want pretty much every section of Eternum covered. Uh, when we think of that, you're not going to want corner spots like Morningdale because, well, with Morningdale, you're not going to have anything on the right side or the top side. It would be nice for Eden Grove uh, and Restless Shore and Weaver's Fen. However, in real, uh, in you know, kind of in reality, you're going to want something a little bit more in the middle or more central. And uh, that's why I think Windsward is a great first option. Like I said, buy all of these great, great, main quests you're going to be right by monarch's bluffs everfall windsward and first light where all the main quests really are in that circle so if you want to travel maybe to some of those spirit shrines uh you're going to be able to see like i said a very very fast and cheap cheap travel costs and that's the biggest thing that you're going to get with uh you know having some of these and you can see some of the traveling obviously hermit shrine over here on the side going to be a very very common one you're going to use for the main quest to turn in and you can see all these other spirit shrines like i said very very close to windsward going to be very very low cost so windsward going to be an obvious first one for me as well because of the fact that so much so much economy is through windsward and we know that for a while windsward actually being one of the best spot starting spots like i said in my opinion uh maybe keeping your recall and everfall for the you know time being as well because i think everfall is another great spot to actually locate the only reason i'm not choosing everfall as my main spot or my first spot for a house is just because of location. Um, and we're going to talk about that here in just a second as well. So with Windsward, we have Monarch's Bluffs, Cutlass Keys, First Light, Reekwater, and Everfall all right next to us. So that's five, uh, or really, if you count uh, Windsward, that's six different locations that we can teleport to for very, very cheap. Obviously, Reekwater coming into play very, very later on. Um, and because of that, I am going to kind of keep that same concept here. And also because of how important oil is, I'm going to actually say Weaver's Fen is going to be my second location. Uh, and this can all change, obviously, depending on uh, certain factors. But Weaver's Fen, another great location because you're going to have Eden Grove, Morningdale, Restless Shore, Reekwater, Everfall, and Brightwood all next to it, as well as kind of Great Cleave. Uh, if we actually look at the Spirit Shrines, you can see that the Spirit Shrine for Great Cleave is not too, too far out. 
Um, and you're going to have to keep that in mind. Like I said, a lot of this is all about that recall to these house locations and then using that from there to actually fast travel using Azoth is going to cut down your costs on the Azoth quite substantially. Um, and then you can refresh, obviously, those recalls as well with Azoth. So my current locations give me great, great movement around the map. And, you know, the last location is going to cost you the most and it's going to take the longest to probably get. So you really want to focus on these first two house locations being very, very useful. And I think Windsward and Weaver's Fen really covers, like I said, pretty much horizontally the entire map. The only thing you're maybe missing out on is the left side of the map, maybe Evans Scale Reach, which, like I said, is a level 60 zone anyway. And by that time that you're level 60, you may be able to start getting at least closer saving up to that third house. And that's exactly where I would place it is Evans Scale Reach. And now a lot of people may ask why, because it's on an end zone. There's not much over there. There's no real reason. Well, if you, have, if you think about where we're located currently, it would be nice to have something over on that left side. And obviously you can't have a house in those white zones. So I think Evans Scale Reach is a great, great concept or a great spot to actually take advantage of a house. And another reason to keep in mind is, guys, we know exactly where the next zone is going to be. It's going to be right here. It's going to be a desert zone. It's going to be where, you know, that next dungeon comes. It's going to be the next content. And it's going to be a great thing to have, like I said, a house right beside that. So keep that in mind. Evans Scale Reach is going to be my third house location. It's going to be a 60 zone, and it's going to be a great spot, like I said, just because of the fact that we are going to have a new zone in the desert right beside it, going to continue to bring utility to the spot and place altogether. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm curious what you guys are going to do for your first, second, and third house. Obviously, like I said, it's all down to you. It's all opinionated. Uh, you know, I'm sure there's a reason to take different spots in different situations depending on what you're wanting to do. But if you are looking to do a ton of oil farming, you know, about level 45, 50, 60, you are going to like Weaver's Fen, I'll tell you right now. Great spot for oil. Obviously, very, very close to Restless Shore, Morningdale, and Eden Grove as well. And Windsor, like I said, a lot of that early game economy that you're going to be able to take advantage of in that, uh, you know, with so much main quests right around Windsor, Everfall, Monarchs, and First Light. It's great to have Windsor as, like I said, that main spot. Because like I said, you recall to Windsor. Oh, look at that. You can fast travel over to Hermit's Shrine for such a cheap cost of Azoth. And that's something to keep in mind. You're going to always be low on Azoth if you are using fast travel as much as you possibly can. So in the early game, it's going to be very, very helpful. Definitely if you're a crafter and uh, you know you can really continue to uh, actually craft using Azoth to try to get better perks as well on weapons and gear. So just my kind of thoughts on my three locations. Like I said, let me know in the comments where you guys plan on using them. I will try to keep you guys up to date with all New World, all things New World, I should say. So make sure if you have not already, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and sticking with this content. We are going to continue to bring it out. I'll see you guys all in the next one.